the Muslim world, uh, not so, not so much, uh, in a way. But there's a very interesting, um, very famous debate between uh, Imam Ghazali and Ibn Rushd, posthumously, like after Imam Ghazali passes away. Um, because he, Imam Ghazali wrote a book, Tahafut al falasifa The Incoherence of the Philosophers, where he laid out about 20 errors and the refutation of 20 ideas of uh, philosophers, in particularly Ibn Sina's writings on philosophy, or, or metaphysical aspects, because philosophy is you should, uh, if you haven't studied it, you probably won't know, but it's got various disciplines as well. You know, it's got logic, it's got um, you know, linguistics, uh, and it's got metaphysics. It was more of the metaphysical aspects of philosophy that uh, Al-Ghazali criticized. So that was a very important uh, uh, book. And actually, Al-Muwahidun, uh, Ibn Tumart, who was a very important, he promoted uh, Al-Ghazali. So in those political movements, Al-Ghazali was used as a bit of a, a, a theological foundation. So in that respect, in the West, Western Muslim world, Imam Ghazali became very popular before he became famous in the Middle East and elsewhere. Uh, so when the Tahawud came to Andalus, uh, Ibn Rush felt that he had to write a refutation of that. So he called it Tahafud al Tahafud. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, again, later in the Ottoman era, there was an Ottoman scholar who wrote Tahafud al Tahafud al Tahafud. <laughs> uh, he wrote a refutation of Ibn Rush as well. So basically, there are very interesting that a debate that takes across centuries. You know, first philosophers say something. Imam Ghazali writes a refutation of that. It's a second layer. Ibn Rush writes a refutation of Imam Ghazali, and then others write a refutation of Ibn Rushd. Uh, it, somebody should. There's been a lot of research on that, but it would be really good to bring that to the fore. Maybe we need to yeah, write a Tahafut, El Tahafut, El Tahafut, El Tahafut. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll call that fifth layer of Tahafut. Uh, 